Hey everyone, welcome back to New Content Upside Process. In today's video, we will be dealing with the package in Odoo 17 Inventory Management. So to manage with the package in Inventory Management, first we have to enable this feature from the configuration settings of the Inventory Management. So package are nothing but that is a physical container that can be a usable container or a disposable container that is used to hold one or more products. So you can just use packages for managing bulk of product in order to transfer the product internally or from the warehouse to the customer side. So let's see how can we manage the package in Odoo 17 Inventory Management. To manage with the packages in inventory, you can just dive into the configuration settings under the operation. We can just enable the packages. This let you your product to be in a pack such as parcels, boxes, and you can just track them. Now if you can save uh, the changes that you have made. Later on, we can just create or consider the product that is hammer. So here you can see the price of the hammer and we don't have sufficient quantity of hammer. Now let's move on to the operations and let's create a receipt over here. And um, let's create a new receipt for the product. And we just need to receive the item from Abigail Peterson with uh, the product as hammer for uh yeah 100 quantity so here you can see we can just save this and click as mark as to do so as we just click on mark as to do we can just put the item in a pack so i just need to keep the item in a pack a uh, hundred of hammers to be sold in uh, a company so i just need to set them in a pack so let me set in a pack and as I just click on put in a pack that is currently put in a pack and you can see the packages over here detailed operations also so here under the detailed operations here you can see uh, the uh, source locations or from which it's uh, taking uh, and uh, uh, the designated package uh, name is shown over here but as we just move on to the packages you, here you can see that we have just designated a package but we cannot find the product under the content because we haven't validated the process. That's why the product is missing under there. So we just need to validate this and keep in the stock. So let's click on validate and you can see under the package. Now if the product will be visible. That is hammer with 100 quantity. So this particular pack or package has 100 quantity of hammer. And if you want to just get any barcodes or everything with the content, you can just print that. So package barcode with content. So let me print that and you would be able to find that. And let's review the PDF right now. So this is the barcode of uh, uh, the package and uh, during the delivery or uh, uh, to track the product, we can use this barcode and all. Now if under the package transfers, you would be able to find the package transfer because the package has just moved from the partner vendor to the um, stock of a warehouse and we have just received the item from the vendor Abigail Peterson. So you can see every details over here. Now we just need to deliver the item to the customer. So before that uh, here you can find the detailed operation at all and uh, that shows the product and uh, it's currently in uh, the warehouse uh, stock and the destination package is also shown over here. Now this also gives the valuation over here which means the traceability or tracking of the product much more easier. Later on, let's move on to the sales module because here we have just received an order from the customer for the hammer. So we can just take the product from the hammer or we can just uh, put the products uh, into a pack. So here the customer is decorated and uh, he's just placing an order for hammer with 20 quantity. So we can just... Uh, Take the product from a particular uh, pack or uh, we can just put this uh, 20 quantity in a new pack also. So let me save this and confirm. So as we just confirm the order under the delivery, you can see a uh, icon over here. So either you can put it into a new pack or you can just choose the uh, destination package. So here. Uh, if you want to just choose any destination packages over here, you can choose that. Which means the source package will be a pack uh, that is visible over here because the 
product will be taken from that packet. And if you want to create a new pack or uh, if you want to set a new packet, uh, you can create that. So let me uh, click on put in a pack. And here you would be able to find this will be put in a new package. And the new package will be shown over here. But under the content, there will be no content because we haven't validated the process. So um, now let's click on validate so that that will be uh, put in a pack in order to send the item to the customer or to deliver the item to the customer. So the package is now delivered to the customer. And uh, here you can see that uh, we have just in with the delivery and uh, under the packages, you can see that product hammer will be visible under the content um, with 20 quantity. So that's all about managing with packages in Odoo 17 inventory management. So packages and packaging are actually two different concepts. So never ever confuse with packages and packaging in Odoo 17 inventory management. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the packages in Odoo 17 inventory module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprocess. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.